Health officials in New Jersey say an 11th child has died amid an outbreak of a respiratory virus at a care facility in Wanakew. The State Department says the child was among 34 pediatric cases associated with the adenovirus outbreak. The virus first began spreading last month at a facility caring for children with severely compromised immune systems. Yesterday on CBSN AM, we spoke with Susan Livio about the outbreak. She is a State House reporter for New Jersey Advanced Media. The workers claim that there was a policy of trying to keep the beds filled as long as possible because as soon as the children leave the facility, the facility loses its Medicaid funding, and that's $519 a day. Uh, Susan, from what I understand, this is one of only four facilities in the state of New Jersey that are able mm -hmm. to care for children who are in this condition. Was there ever an idea of perhaps moving them to some of these other facilities, or is the, is the risk that they would infect other children at some of those other places? Sure. The state health commissioner described how that would be very difficult for these children and would put them and other children that they would come in contact if they were moved away into at risk. These are children who were born with birth defects, relied on uh, technology to help them eat and breathe, very vulnerable children. And it wasn't an option. Mm. They needed to just contain the infection and make it work. So the aunt of one of the children infected said problems worsened when new owners took over the facility. And this facility has had, you know, several infractions on the books. What sort of changes did she observe? She claimed that there was a, a difficulty with keeping the staff up to, up to snuff. Um, she claimed that there was concerns about the place not being clean. She talked a lot about people working as hard as they absolutely could, but in the end, the facility just wasn't the same um, when it changed hands from 2014 to the present. And one of the employees said administrators at the center may have been concerned about the Department of Health finding out about the outbreak. I mean, could there be an investigation and potential consequences coming for the Wanakew Center? The State Health Committee is going to be investigating and is holding a, a hearing in Trenton on December 3rd. At this point, the only investigation is that of the State Health Department. And right now they are looking at the outbreak. Um, they're not looking at the decisions made by the doctors or other personnel. They're just trying to keep it under control. There may be fines. Last night, the health department required them to shut off all admissions, both as a, for adult patients as well as pediatric. They required them to hire a pediatric infectious control specialist and a physician board certified to deal with infections. Whether so, there'll be more fines, we're not sure yet. It's still early on. There was still four cases confirmed this weekend. So it's, it's not in control yet at all.